Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about the DAX edate function. I've already opened the documentation for it. So I search for the edate function and grab the documentation. It says that it returns the date that is the indicated number of months before or after the start date. So it says that you supply a date to it and then you add the months and those number of months will be added to this date. Let us understand this better with an example. I've got some employee data here with me, which is just the employee ID and the join date. Now let us say in this organization, there's a three month probation period from the date of joining. So we will use the edate function to find the probation date, end of probation date. And we will say three. So what it will do is add three months to the date. As you can see, the first date we have is 18th of April joining date and the end of probation is 18th of July. Similarly, for 27th of April, it is 27th of July and 6th of May, it is 6th of August and so on. So it has added three months here to the provided date. Now you need to provide an integer. Otherwise, this function does a rounding off. So for example, I put 2.2 and hit enter. You can see it just rounded it off to two months. And what if I do 2.6? If you look at the first row, it has changed it to 18th of July. So 2.6, it has rounded off to uh, three months and 2.2, it has rounded off to uh, two months. Let us say I put in minus one. So it gives us a date one month before the joining date, which is 18th of March, 2005. I'll just change it to three and continue. So in this case, we've got the end of probation date. This is one way to add the number of months to any given date and find a date in the future or the past. I hope you find this video useful. And thanks for watching the video. Please do subscribe to my channel and like the video if you like what you're doing, what I'm doing. Thanks.